Yo, what's going on? My name is DJ Mad. And it's me, Song the Keys. And we're about to make a beat. It's game time. Alright, so we, I'm, I'm over here, we're using uh, Cubase 12, that just came out like the other day. And um, right now I'm using uh, Contact, I'm going to use a library called Hybrid Keys. Um, right now it's actually one of my favorite, I mean, I have a few, but this is really dope. And I found this sound, it's really, really cool. Um, it's, you know, it's like a little church, but, you know, I come up with this progression, so we're going to lay it down real quick, right? So, that's the... Alright, now we got that, now we gotta look for some, some, some funky sound, so... The Native Instru Instrument 20 anniversary, 25th Anniversary plugin, this is actually a free plugin you go get on Native Instruments, and um... Oh yeah, that's too low. That's what we're gonna go with. So we're not gonna cut the video like you know, and then oh boom, the, the melodies just appear magically. I want you guys to actually see the process as far as like how we just come up with melodies. I'm not like a like a super piano player. Actually, this man right here is a super piano player right here. You should stand right here, Mason, so they can see you. you know? They gotta see me in action. Yeah. Ah, see? There you go. Let's do it again. Some drums. Uh, like you can see, I got machine opened up. I got the machine. Uh, uh, which one is this one? The machine, whatever. It's the mini. The mini machine mini. Oh, you know the drums are knocking. You know, somebody at the door. Yeah. They knocking. They knocking. <laughs> that a lot of producers don't do and I just feel that it just needs it is the swing 
it seems like like producers, a lot of producers nowadays, like the new ones, they forget that there's this thing called a swing to to make things just sound a little more human. Like so, so the drums could just sound like they're moving a little bit. So so I just added a 13% swing. I you know I'm, I'm gonna add 15, so you know, just give the extra sauce. Exactly. Add, let's add an 808 real quick. But hold it. Oh, if I hold that, I can't go up. No, I'm saying hold it, you know, until the time is needed. Busy there. reverb so it could be extra shiny uh, yeah that's what happens when you crack some shit and you didn't crack it right so we can't use that Up the mixer so I could like do like a little balance on the mix. So one thing that you gotta do when you have your drums, you gotta make them knock. So when, once I have like my drums and I'm like, okay, this is what I'm going with, um, I mute everything and I only listen to the drums. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna buzz all the drums to their own, you know, their own buzz. Nah. Just vibing with the drum, like, okay, do they sound good? No, they don't sound good. Like, they, 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 can, still, they can still knock harder. So, I'm gonna do some upward compression. There's a plugin called Squash. Uh, Squasher and, uh, in Cubase, on Waves you could use the MV2, uh, but I like using this because I, you know it's just it's just there. And there's this um, preset called Acoustic Power Drums. Like this is my favorite for trap. So like without it, and with it. Wait, but I put it in the wrong place though. Okay, right here. There you go. Now it's in the right track. I'm like, what the fuck? All right, without it, and with it. It goes from sounding like drums to sound like drums on the radio. Like it just gives it that, ah, oh, damn, balls in your face. So now once I have that, what's the next thing that you gotta make sure that it's knocking? Can somebody say it? No? Nah, the booty, bro. The booty gotta knock. That booty. The booty. So you, got, you bring the booty. Now notice the difference how the drums is sitting with that with that 808 compared to before. Like now it's like it's almost coming together, but it's not together yet. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add some side side chain. This is a plug-in that I ride or die. Big shout's going out to Soundable. They make the dopest plugins, and this one's called Smart Compressor. Um, so I'm gonna side chain. 
I'm gonna look for the kick. Okay, so this is the kick, I'm gonna name it. Kick. And I'm gonna side uh, I'm gonna side chain to the kick. Because I want when when the kick hits, I want the, the, the 808 to kinda like get out the way. So we're gonna analyze it. The dope thing about this plugin is that you just hit this button, uh, the record button, and it's gonna learn and it's gonna take out the frequencies, the the, the this like this crashing with the with the 808. So we're gonna go with it. So you're gonna gotta wait a little bit, you know, for it to do its thing. So now now the the kicks had the kick has more punch, and when the 808 comes in, it just it just has that that booty. something that a lot of producers don't do they don't pay attention to the drums like in detail 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 you gotta make sure like forget about the melody treat the drums as if you were to just play these drums in the club the drums will make people just bop and bounce if that the drums in 808 by themselves can make you be like damn this shit is a hit then you know that whatever you throw on top well not whatever but at least you know some dope ass melodies like the way me sound the keys and your sweet dj mad did you know then it's gonna rock, so. Okay, so I only wanna hear that with the beat. So you, you, really, you really hear it, like, it just sounds special. But it's not special enough. Cause you gotta add the special sauce. So what's the special sauce? You gotta make it sound like a sample. Make it sound like a sample. So I got this uh, this plugin from Arturia. I think I'm pronouncing it right. It's called Tape Mellow Five. Exactly. So wait until it loads up. It takes a second. Right here. Tape Mellow Five. Like you can see, it's like some vintage shit. Uh, a lot of people like using RC20, but that was like 50 years ago plugin. Uh, I like using this because this just it just has like the it just sounds more like a tape. So um, without it, but it sounds like a regular piano, right? But the minute you turn it on, now you begin to hear that vintage sound. You got some mechanics. So now you got a sample. You created, you play the piano, but you, you made it into a sample. Now, because you're adding all those mechanics and stuff like that, of course, it's going to introduce some artifacts, so you got to clean that up. So that's why you put an EQ afterward. And then you... Oh, that sounds special. It's ugly. It's ugly right now. It's ugly. So now that we have the piano just sitting right, now we're going to introduce another sound. So I have this pad going on here. Automatically I know that I got to clean it up. Yeah. So being effective, we're going to give it that lo-fi. We're going to we're gonna need that top information with the piano. Sounds like a sample, like somebody sampled it from a record. Like it's crazy. So together, you always make sure, like when you're knocking like this, just grab all the tracks. Because if you look at the master channel right here, I'm clipping. I'm like, like it's crazy. Like you know, you think it sounds good, but it really doesn't. You play this mix right now in your car, it's gonna sound like straight hot. You know what? So grab every channel. As a matter of fact. Let's not do it from here because I'm bussing, so let's just lower the main bus right here. I have an old bus right here, and I'm just gonna. See, so now I have that have that leg um, leg room, that headroom, you know, to mix and to do whatever I need to do. 
now look at the dynamics that I have going on here. Like like that that means that I have a really good mix going on because it has dynamics, but it's still like very you know compressed. And I'm not. I don't, I don't even have anything on the master. <laughs> Thing that a lot of a lot of producers don't do is a uh, uh, session management. Make sure that you know you take out plugins that you don't need because when you start adding and adding and adding, you know, unless you have a supercomputer like this new MacBook Pro, aka the Beast, um, you're gonna run out of out of power. And even when you have a, a Beast like this, when you're still gonna run out of power if you don't know how to manage your session. So it's it's, it's a good thing to practice to you know. To, to, to keep that in your mind that it's like, yo, I don't need a thousand plugins to make shit crack. And also use uh, stock plugins. So this is what we got so far. So, oh, so we're gonna do a little arrangement. First thing I do when I'm ready to arrange is just duplicate things forward. And I should start muting. When it comes here, what <laughs> sounds there's a plug-in by Artoria Oof. called Mellotron a lot of people see I don't know I haven't seen like a lot of people use this plug-in it's a special product but this plug-in is uh if you want that vintage like organic like this is where you gotta go you know you gotta dig in there because it's a lot of shit but you gotta dig <laughs> That's what that really sound dope. That's what your first spat. Uh, bass rider by Waves. It just brings, it gives it that extra little pump when you do those uh those glides. So you just gotta make sure you find the perfect, perfect point. <laughs> There you have your Shuri DJ Madden, man, the Amisa on the keys. And we are out of here.